from starting my prep with Coach. Um, on Monday next week, I start, and I'm gonna start vlogging for y'all. Hey everyone, Afton here. Please stay tuned to my whole video. I do have a Flex Friday and an interview at my gym at the end. Just got done with my front squats. Did a little bit of um, a narrow stance squats. Finished with a wide, and then I did split squat barbell combined with super set of squat jumps, and then I did some dumbbell straight leg deadlift combined with goblet front squat, and now I'm doing some inner thighs. And today marks my 16 days, 16 weeks out from my WBFF World Championship in the Bahamas, August 10th. Um, I'm really, really excited about this. I'm gonna vlog for you guys. Hopefully I can send out a video once a week to be able to kind of show you my progress, where I am. Right now I'm starting at the highest body fat percent I've been, which is 15.2%, um, and we're gonna aim to like anywhere from like nine to 10% for the show, whatever looks good for my body by the time that comes. Um, right now I'm actually getting ready to make some videos for um, Team Dynasty. Uh, the head coach is Stephanie Ayala, and she is my coach, training for the show, two times world WBFF champ last two years here in a row. So we will be going on the same stage together, which will be fantastic. I'm really excited about it. We're just taking some footage right now. If you guys have any questions at all about WBFF, fitness competitions, nutrition, if you're looking to see, like, if you're, you have any questions about competing, um, specifically, ask those questions in the comments below. Other than that, I hope you enjoy like this vlog and what I've composed of everything together. Uh, Flex Fridays, um, I'm debating about having uh, help with my GoFundMe for the Bahamas. So, WFF, it's the best of the best. So it's really high-end competing. You know, we had the bikini round for our first round, and then theme wear for fitness and evening gowns for the bikini girls. But it is it is an expensive competition compared to most, and it can cost five to seven thousand depending how you're spending your money. If you're going to the world stage versus an amateur show, it can change a little bit. So I do have a GoFundMe. I'm gonna put the link here below and in the comments um, so you guys can help with my GoFundMe. I think for every hundred dollars I get for my GoFundMe here, it's at 1100 right now. For every hundred dollars I get, I will post a Flex Friday um, that week. Um, other than that, I'm just gonna post Flex Friday once a month so you guys can see my progress once a month leading up to the World Championship. So have a great day, happy Easter tomorrow for those of you who celebrate it, and um, wish me luck on creating some awesome ankle leg exercises workouts for our clients here on Team Dynasty. There's a WBFF Fitness World Championship competition August 10th in the Bahamas, and Monday starts my 16 weeks out. So this is what I currently look like. The highest body fat I've ever been, basically. A little bit lower than my Everest, but I'm about 15.2% right now. And when I get stage ready, it's anywhere from nine to 10. So this is my body right now. Can't see my muscles as much, but they're kind of there. So this is Afton. Hello, um, So Afton and I met a couple of years ago. Uh, she came into my Greenville location to interview for a training job. Um, and uh, long story short, when I asked her where she wanted to be in five years, she said competing in the Olympics. Um, and uh, honestly, having, having gotten to know her over these couple of years, I honestly think that if she decided that's really where she wanted to go, she probably would be there. Um, so uh, she was a world-class runner in college. Um, she actually ran uh, for a D1 school, um, Southern Illinois University, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, so uh, she still holds some records there, as far as I know. Um, and she's unquestionably the fastest runner that I've ever known. Uh, that may not say a whole, whole lot, um, but uh, super, super impressive. Um, and so she actually kind of put the running aside a little while ago. Um, and it wasn't enough that she was already a world-class athlete. She decided that she wanted to be a WBFF a fitness competitor um, and went out and won her first show and got a pro card. Um, so anyway, so uh, let's talk a little bit about your fitness journey, where you got started, how it, like, like all the way back, like 
before like high school, like when did fitness start for you? Um, fitness started as a child that seemed to have ADD. I was a very hyperactive child, so my parents would make me just run laps around the center of the house. And <laughs> of course, you don't know how to count it for, so dad would say 50, and if I was at 17, he'd say, you're at three, so I would just continue to run and not complain at all. So <laughs> that's where the running really started and became popular. Okay. Um, that's what I went to college for, so I was always very fit and running. Now, when the transition came to strength training, it was when I actually was close to failing PE class, I got a D. Because you have to know the history of volleyball and softball, all that stuff. So I'm like, forget that, let me join weights class. And I joined weights class, and there was a Mr. and Mrs. Fitness you could win in high school as your senior. So as a freshman, I'm like, I've got to win this Mrs. Flex bicep. So I trained freshman year knowing I want to do this. So you got to have that goal, too, and never give up on them. That's when the strength training happens. Then I went to college, ran track, um, five years. I did really well. I got uh, a pro coach approach me after, and I started training. But right before he asked me to train with him, I got a hamstring pull really bad. So that was the struggle going pro, was kind of bouncing back from that hamstring injury, then moving within like six times and getting married, all that different stuff. Of so so coming to here now, right. um, no longer running at all, but. Uh, I was running and training and trying to go Olympics and it just wasn't happening as quick as I wanted to and then I was thinking more of my family in the future and children sure. so I want to make an income I'm like let me focus more on training because running takes a part of you that gives you some weird mind right sure so I'm like let me make more income I hate and running I'm like let me start <laughs> focusing more on my clients so I did that and then I'm like well how the heck am I gonna stay in shape and fit when I used to run 50 70 miles a week burning 5,000 to 700 calories and I'm like, well, as a runner, you're very slim and trim, you know, you don't have hips. So I'm like, let me build this booty, you know. That's the thing right now, building the booty. Right. And so I'm like, started lifting weights, looking at different things. And I came upon WBFF and started doing a challenge. And I got my coach, Stephanie Ayala, who's a two-time world champion now. So we're going to go against each other in August. <laughs> um, so I kind of got into just that, having to want to stay in shape. And okay. This fire has always been into me because I listen to adults. They're like, oh, I feel like this and that. And I'm like, I don't want to be an adult that right. just can't keep up with their children and do all these different things. So I've always had Better that. Better to stay there. Get yeah. there and stay there than have to. Get there and stay there and just fight right. it my whole life. Fight the health, <laughs> fight the health thing. I, her commitment <laughs> to fitness is so far and above what most people are capable of. And that's a credit to her for sure. I mean, it makes her a great trainer. Um, so, what uh, what would you say is your biggest uh, like excitement about training? What really motivates you about with the clients? clients. Yeah, yeah, about training clients. Yeah. So, training clients, what motivates me the most is seeing their personality change. Like that's the craziest thing. When mm -hmm. they start getting fit, they have more confidence and they just become this complete different person, and that's exciting. And then you start to see. A lot of my clients are like, hmm, I kind of want to be a trainer now. Right. Or they're motivating other people to get healthy. So the best thing is like leading by example. When people see you do stuff, they want to do it as well. Sure. Like, I'm not always a hands-on motivator for other people outside of the gym, but just walking around, you have that confidence and right. you do that help. So the best thing is just kind of getting people healthier and a better mindset that's confident. So many people lack the confidence. Sure. Coming in, definitely training with me boosts the confidence. Sure. So, I mean, it's more than not just the vanity or the health of it, but seeing the mental transformation yes. that comes along mental with it. Yeah. Learning that they have more strength than they thought that they did. Yes. Um, so, let's talk a little bit. Let's give somebody some advice um, that's stuck in a rut. Uh, you know, a lot of people come into the gym, um, they forget the definition of insanity, they keep doing the same thing over and over again, and then they hit this plateau, which really is a fallacy. That doesn't actually exist. Uh, plateaus only exist because you do the same thing over and over again. So what advice would you give to somebody to try and get over that hump, get out of that rut? Well, the first thing is to see a professional, like I have a professional coach, come in, have a fitness consultation with me, Charity, our trainers, um, just 45 minutes to an hour, and you can learn a lot within that time, but also realize, hey, I might need a hand in this, it'll help me get results a lot faster, because it sure will. The best thing is also planning your week ahead, so on Sunday knowing what's going to happen each day and planning a time slot to work out because if you don't commit yourself to that time, your day will just take it away from you, your kids, your work, any of that. 
so that's the best thing. And then just eating, because when your body starts to feel really, really bad and negative, something's going on chemically with your hormones or not enough water or nutrition. I will tell you, on the weekend, I don't drink as much water, and I start to get a little depressed feeling. I'm like, whoa, I'm dehydrated. I need water. And then, so the little things really change it up, but definitely come in to see a trainer and kind of see where you are and what help you need. Because a lot of it comes to function and daily activities. We want your form to be good, good posture, to kind of make you from kind of getting to this age and not being able to pick up a knee or right. fall and different things. Okay. Last thing you want to talk about. So you mentioned that you're going to be going up against your own coach <laughs> uh, at uh, Worlds. Yes. So tell us a little about this upcoming show that you've got, where it's at, and what that entails for you, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, WBFF Championship, it's August 10th. It's in the Bahamas. Um, so I started training. Awesome. That just sounds terrible. I start training Monday. It's going to be so fun to get in a regimen and be able to have things switch up all the time. I'm actually, our, our team is Team Dynasty, and um, I coach some competitors for the Dallas show. So if you're outside of the Commerce area and in the Dallas area mm -hmm. and you want to compete WBFF, we can do that for you too. Yep. Um, other than that, I kind of have, I have a GoFundMe for right now, so if you search after noon in Oregon, you'll find my GoFundMe if you want to help at all. Take me to the Bahamas. But yeah. That, Pretty excited. Um, well, you're, you're sponsored by Lean One too, aren't you? Bill Romanowski's brand? Yeah, Bill Romanowski. Yeah. Um, he's pretty cool. I met him in Dallas. Uh, I'm jealous. He's I'm my, yeah, yeah, he's my sponsor, so we helped out so That's much fun. for the last show. He's an ex-pro football player, for those of you who don't know, and he started a brand called Lean One. It's mostly vegetable based. Um, there's plant-based, there's um, vegan, but then there's also like... Regular whey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, good deal. Well, anyway, um, so we'll, we'll obviously wish you good luck with your show coming up in August.